so there are some traps that should be avoided so that you select the right option and eliminate the wrong options so we have classified them again the same point that i keep reiterating it's not about knowing these names they would not help you in any way it's about getting that message into your head so that you keep these in mind while you analyze once you attempt the practice rcs and also build your strategy and do well on your d day so first type is out of passage scope so these option the statement would be like it looks true or seem to be true in the real world right your mind is not just the passage that you have read it it has all the elements that it would have seen and heard till now in life so the passage would be the statement would be set in such a way that it looks correct in general right so you would not think whether it's coming from the passage or in general but you won't find any supporting statement which would justify the statement in the passage so basically it's out of passage scope but for your mind it looks like it's a valid statement which makes you feel that that could be the correct answer right that's the trap that you'll be falling for the next type is contradicting statement here you'll find exactly opposite statement to what's being mentioned in the passage so if by chance the readers have misunderstood some elements of the passage right or miss some you know uh, contrast uh, that's being written in the passage if you see this statement even though it's actually contradicting to the actual statement in the passage you'll still find that this is a correct statement that's because you misunderstood that piece of information in the passage but because you see something similar with respect to words and all you might find that it, okay this is what the passage meant so i agree with this statement and you mark that as the correct answer the most dangerous one is this the one to two words incorrect statement you know when most of the students if you have done lot of rcs you would be facing this problem especially in the inference which of the following statements would author agree to or you know can be inferred not inferred etc you'll find two options after you eliminate other options which look extremely similar and exactly same except for one to two words you know that's the thing that you have to look you know when you have eliminated the options and you're confused to a couple of options match word by word right and see the difference in the words and check what these words are trying to convey and accordingly you can eliminate the wrong answer most probably the one of the two options would have extreme words right like i can say i'll give you this example like i'm i said that there is a chance that x will win this right the other statement says that x will win this at hand, at any cost right or let me change it the second option looks like there is 100% chance or x will win it at any cost right the both the statements mean the same okay first statement i'll repeat again the first statement says there is a chance that x will win this the second statement looks like x will win this at any cost both statements are saying that x will win this but you see the difference at any cost means that it, x will win it that's the confidence that this statement is making the first statement says there's a good chance so that means probably x will win but not 100% right so you have to check the passage and see what confidence does the author you know claim in that is it 100% or is it like probably good chance based on which you can select the answer right the options look exactly similar in meaning just with a very minor difference of this extreme words being you know added then the true statement would be there but it does not answer the question as per the passage yes the statement is correct that's true that's what the author will agree to or the author has stated but it does not answer the question being asked so students or the readers get confused and mark that as the right answer because that's true statement that's being mentioned in the passage and they feel it's a correct thing but actually you have to also check the context the actual question being asked and does it really answer the question and uh, this one actually is a very common thing especially in the primary message or the main purpose of the passage you will have at least one option which is also valid according to the passage but that might not be or that would not be the main theme of the passage so you will see two statements which look like the valid statements but then you will not be able to justify which one is the main theme of the passage unless you get the overall gist of the passage you will be a bit confused right finally the statement is made out of different parts of passages like multiple statements are mixed and you know you'll get a, a jumbled uh, mixed statement which sort of looks like this is a valid statement 
unless you really get an understanding of the passage are those two lines actually and if you just match words you'll get confused and mark it wrong this is very less likely to get fallen into unless you do not read the passage you actually follow an approach where you don't read the passage properly you just match the words and pick the correct option and this this trap is basically set for those uh, students who pick that approach